Well, hello and welcome to this lesson where I'm going to talk about dream jobs. Dream jobs are the types of jobs that many people think they want or many people do want. There might be a slight difference. A dream job is a job that very few people maybe do but a lot of people think they would like to do it. You can see on my title slide, I have a picture of Matt Damon. He is an actor and being an actor is one type of dream job. I'm sure there are many people in the world that dream of being a famous actor. They dream of being in movies or on a television show but certainly being an actor is a type of dream job. So, I hope you enjoy this English lesson where we're going to talk about dream jobs. One of the probably most popular dream jobs in the world is the job of being a professional athlete. I think many kids when they are growing up, they will play a certain sport and their dream will be that someday they will get paid to play that sport. Someday they will be a professional athlete. That might be a basketball player, a football player, American football or a football player, what we call soccer. Um it could be anything. In Canada, many kids dream of becoming hockey players. So, professional athlete is definitely probably the number one dream job on the list. By the way, this list isn't in any particular order but I started with this. This is actually Fred Van Vliet. He plays for the Toronto Raptors which is um a team in the National Basketball Association. So, uh it's a team in Toronto and even though Canada and the United States are separate countries, we do share sports leagues. We share uh teams in the NHL and the NBA uh for sure. So, the Toronto Raptors definitely a great place to play. I think there are many young Canadians who are dreaming of playing basketball now as a dream job. Where do professional athletes work? They work in stadiums. They work in arenas. They might play on the football field or the pitch um and definitely, I'm trying to think if there's any other words. When I go see a hockey game, it's at a hockey arena. Uh when you go see a football game, it's at a stadium. So, those are the places that a professional athlete would work. Um I added this one next just for a little bit of humor uh and it's circus performer. In English and I'm sure in other languages as well, sometimes people dream of running away to join the circus. It's a phrase you use when you're not happy with where you're at in life and you might say, you know what? I might just run away and join the circus. Um some people do actually join the circus though. Canada has produced a circus troupe called Cirque du Soleil which is a very popular group that does all kinds of circus acts. Anyways, where would a circus performer work? They would work in the big top. Um when you go to a circus a long time ago, there used to be big tents. Cirque du Soleil performs inside of course but it used to be that you would go to a tent and you would see the circus performers in the big top. So, when you read a book or when you watch a movie like The Greatest Showman which is about circuses, uh you will see large tents and elephants and jugglers and tightrope walkers and all different types of circus performers. Maybe you want to be a magician. Another dream job would be that you learn how to do card tricks or illusions. Maybe you want to learn how to uh make it look like you're sawing someone in half <laughs> when you're really not. Maybe you would like to be a magician. Um I know a couple of my kids have learned some magic tricks. They've learned some card tricks in the past and it's really fun uh to watch them do it. But maybe your dream in life, your dream job is to become a magician and to have your own show in Las Vegas. Maybe you want to be a rock star. So, definitely a dream job for many people. This is probably on the same level as professional athlete. I think many kids in the world dream of being a professional athlete or they might dream of being a rock star. This is Bono from U2. Um he's an amazing well-known rock star. Great singer uh and uh I've never been able to see them in concert. I should sometime go and see them because they're getting a little bit old. Um but anyways, rock star definitely. Where do rock stars perform? They perform on a stage. If you were a rock star, you might go to a music studio to record an album or to record a song. You would maybe play to a sold out show in a stadium. Often, rock stars and rock bands will rent out large stadiums 
where you would normally see a sporting event so that they can do a live concert. So, rock star. I wanted to be a rock star when I was a kid but I can't sing and I don't play any musical instruments. So, I became a teacher instead. Even teachers can be rock stars. By the way, as we finish off rock star, the term rock star can be used to describe people who are good at their job as well. So, at my school, no one says this but if I did a good job, they could say, oh, he's a rock star. Um so, that means I'm a really good teacher. There might be someone on your team at work who's just an exceptional worker and you would say, oh, I love it when Joe is on my team. He's a rock star and your job might be picking up garbage but Joe's just really good at it. He's a rock star. Um we have another term singer songwriter. Um a singer songwriter is someone who sings the songs that they've written. Um someone like Taylor Swift I believe is a singer songwriter. Um Alicia Keys is a singer songwriter. Um these are people who spend their time writing music and then performing their music as well. So, when they're doing the songwriting part, they're probably at home or somewhere quiet where they can just think clearly and be creative and when they're done writing the song, they would go to the studio to record the song. <laughs> Lolly in the chat says, woohoo, so I'm a rock star, yes. Um and you also just have the dream job of being a musician. Many people when they are young learn to play the guitar or the piano or the violin. They learn an instrument and they might have a dream to become a professional musician. Maybe not a rock star, maybe not a singer songwriter but still find a way where they can be paid to play music. Um so often when you go to a studio, there are musicians who can work. They're called session musicians. Maybe you want to play in an orchestra. Maybe you are really good at playing the cello or the violin or the timpani. I hope that's actually a kind of drum. <laughs> you might want to look that word up. Um uh but certainly uh you maybe are um looking to learn an instrument and your dream job is to be paid to play that instrument. And it might be as simple as playing on the street. We have something called busking. When you busk, it means you play an instrument on the sidewalk and people put money into maybe your guitar case and we would call you a busker. Or maybe you wanna be a music producer. A music producer is someone who helps a musician or a singer songwriter or a rock star or a rock band record their music in the studio. They might do the sound engineering. They might actually provide some of the money to get it done. But music producers are another way to work in the music industry if that's your dream. Um and if you're not a good musician or singer but you're good at the technical side of things or you're good at the money side of things. And then maybe your dream job is to become an actor. Maybe your dream is to be in Hollywood movies or Bollywood movies or movies in your own country. Um actors definitely are very cool. A couple things I wanted to mention when we got to this slide. We use the word actor to refer to both men and women. We use the term actress when we give out awards but we don't generally use the word actress anymore in news articles or when we're talking about female actors. We usually just say actor, okay? So, you would say he's an actor or she's an actor but you would say, oh, she won best actress in her recent movie. So, the term actress is used in formal things like giving awards but generally, we just use the word actor now. Uh and then maybe your dream is to be a YouTuber. This is Felix Schelberg also known as PewDiePie. Probably one of the most famous YouTubers in the world. Um a YouTuber is someone who buys a camera, makes videos at home or in their town or city and puts them on this platform, YouTube that you are watching. Where does a YouTuber work? A YouTuber works at home. Generally, YouTubers when they first start out, they make all of their videos at home. They edit them on a computer or maybe even on their phone. They might use their phone as their camera and they might edit on their phone and they upload their videos to YouTube and they hope that people will watch them. So, maybe your dream job is to be a YouTuber. Maybe you want to be a streamer and play video games and have people watch. 
Maybe you want to uh, just make short little videos about cooking or exercising and you're hoping that you will be successful on YouTube. If you are, you would be called a YouTuber. Um probably a less uh less of a dream job is to be a podcaster but a podcaster is similar to a YouTuber but instead of recording video, they simply record audio. So, maybe your dream is to become a podcaster. To have a podcast. Generally, podcasters will have a small studio in their house with a microphone um and then they will record their own voice or they will have other people who come as well and they'll record a conversation. They don't usually hit their microphone like I just did though. They're much more professional than that. But maybe your dream job is to become a podcaster. Maybe that's your goal in life is to become a podcaster uh and just use your maybe you have a smooth buttery voice, a really nice sounding voice and your dream is to just talk and get paid for it. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? An influencer is someone who has a large following on YouTube or Instagram or just in the uh the news. Someone who is extremely famous and because they have so many followers, they can influence what people decide to buy or do. A great example, I think this is Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I'm not super familiar with the influencers of the world but if Kim Kardashian said that Portugal is the best place to go on vacation, a whole bunch of people in the world would decide to go to Portugal for their vacation. If Kim Kardashian said that she loves spending the winter in Paris, France, more people would become interested in going to Paris, France. If she wears a dress uh from a certain company, more people will buy that dress. So, an influencer is someone who has many many followers on a social media platform and maybe in the tabloids. Tabloids are newspapers that follow the lives of celebrities or maybe they're just famous because they're on television or in movies. They are called influencers. I'm not an influencer. I'm just a guy who teaches English on YouTube. Um so, Vito before the lesson was asking about uh Vito said that um their dream job was to just have so much money they didn't need to work. So, there is a word for this or a term and it's independently wealthy. I once went to school. Sorry, I once was in a university class and there was an older gentleman there. He was about 35 years old. At the time, I was about 20 and I asked him, what do you do for a living? And he said, oh, I'm independently wealthy. So, if you are independently wealthy, you have so much money that you don't need to work. You have so much money that the interest you earn on your investments is enough for you to live off of. Hopefully, you understood that. I am not independently wealthy. <laughs> I'm not even dependently wealthy. That's not a term by the way. Um I am not independently wealthy. I need to go to work every single day. I need to earn my keep. I need to have a paycheck so that I can pay my mortgage, feed my children and pay my bills. Um someday maybe when I'm 65 and I'm retired, I will have a pension and I will be able to live without working but at this point in time, this is not me at all. Um another dream job and this is a common dream job. This is commonly mentioned by young children. If you ask young children, uh, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Sorry, I should have taught that phrase earlier. When you ask a child what job they want to do when they're older, we usually say, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they might say that they want to be an astronaut. An astronaut is someone who works either at NASA or the European Space uh agency uh or maybe who else has space programs? I know China has a space program. I know other countries support other countries space programs. Russia has a space program. There is a space station that a number of countries in the world share um but maybe as a child, you were like, I wanna be an astronaut. Um this guy here, uh where does an astronaut work? Well, they work at the place where they launch rockets. By the way, in English, when a rocket gets launched at the end, right before it launches, we say five, four, three, two, one and then I always yell blast off. It's pretty common I think for people to do that. So, astronauts work at a um 
let me see here, um, like a space center on earth and then they might also work at uh, in a space station. They might go up in a rocket to work on the space station and right now, I think the world is working towards having a base on the moon and maybe a base on Mars. So, someday if you become an astronaut, you might be able to uh, work somewhere like that. Um maybe your goal is to become a chef. Maybe your goal is to be um a famous restaurant owner. Maybe you want to be someone who creates new kinds of food dishes. You're going to mix together different types of foods from different countries and create unique and tasty dishes. So, maybe you want to be a chef or maybe you want to be a celebrity chef. A celebrity chef is someone who has a TV show or what we call cooking shows uh, on television. So, if you watch someone like Gordon Ramsay, he is a celebrity chef. A chef works usually at a restaurant and the chef works in the kitchen of that restaurant. Although, sometimes uh chefs become a personal chef. So, they actually work at someone's house. That would be someone who is independently wealthy might hire a personal chef. That's a possibility. Um maybe your dream is to become an artist. Maybe you would like to be a painter. Maybe your dream is to use your artistic talents to express yourself in different forms. Maybe you like to do pottery. Maybe you like to do sculpting. Maybe you like to paint um and you would generally work in a studio. So, an artist would work in their studio and they would create works of art. It's very difficult I think to become a highly paid artist. There's another term in English called starving artist. When you're starving, it means you don't have enough food. Many artists when they are first starting out, um not a lot of people buy their works of art. Uh so, they're in their studios. They're creating works of art and they're having art shows um and at an art gallery and then they hope people buy their paintings or other art and maybe it doesn't happen. So, I used a bunch of terms in there. Art show, maybe they're having an opening. An opening means that you're having all of your art displayed at an art gallery hoping that someone will buy it. I'm not an artist. I can draw stick people. (laughs) I think you know what stick people are. It's when you draw people just using lines. That's the extent uh, of my ability to draw. Maybe your dream is to become a writer. Maybe your dream job is to write a book. Maybe you want to become a journalist and write newspaper articles for the newspaper. Maybe your dream is to become an author. So, a little bit of a difference between writer and author. Writer is a general term. So, I could say um oh, I'm a writer for this magazine or I'm a writer. I write children's books. An author is a writer who specifically writes books but maybe your dream is to put pen to paper and to write some beautiful, beautiful books. Maybe you want to be a model. This was never my dream. Maybe you're unless if there was a company that only made blue plaid shirts for middle-aged men who are almost 50 and they were looking for a model to, to show the shirts to the public then I would become a model but maybe you are very attractive. Maybe you are an attractive man or woman and people keep saying you have a beautiful face. You have really nice bone structure like your cheekbones are really high. You have beautiful eyes. You should become a model. A model would work at a fashion show. A model would go to a photo shoot to have their picture taken and basically their job is to look amazing while showing off clothing jewelry and other items that fashion designers are creating. So, maybe your goal is to become a model. Again, this was never my goal. No one in my entire life ever said to me, Bob, you should become a model. (laughs) Sorry, let's move on. Maybe your goal is to become a fashion designer. Your dream job is to design clothing. Um maybe you love sewing things together. You love the feel and look of fabric and you like to put different things, different outfits together and people are always saying, you just look amazing and then if you say, yeah, well, I made this myself. Maybe your job, your dream job might be to be a fashion designer. Um a fashion designer would work in their workshop um or they might call it a studio. 
We sometimes use the French word atelier as well to talk about a place kind of like a big open space where someone can cut and sew fabric together. Maybe your goal is to become a nurse. Maybe you want to work in a hospital and help deliver babies and give people needles. Maybe your dream job is taking care of people. I have enormous respect for nurses in the world. They do an amazing job. If any of you work in healthcare as a nurse or doctor, I just wanna thank you right now. You are just awesome people. Thank you. Especially (laughs) during this last year in a bit. Um I'm just very very happy to say thank you to you. So, thank you. Maybe you want to be a doctor. Maybe you want to perform surgeries. Maybe you want to uh just be what we call a general practitioner or family doctor and you just wanna be able to uh find out what's wrong with people, have them describe their symptoms and then diagnose what's wrong and give them a prescription or some form of treatment. Again, both nurses and doctors work either at hospitals or medical centers. Um there's a lot of different names for that. We have um urgent care centers, etc. But generally, nurses and doctors work in a hospital. Maybe you want to be a lawyer. Maybe you want to defend people in a court of law. Maybe you want to uh be able to take part in lawsuits. Maybe you want to be able to advise people about what to do with all their money if they're independently wealthy when they pass away or when they die. So, you would then go to law school and your primary place of work would be your law office or in the courts, okay? So, you might be in a courtroom or you might be in your law office. If you become a lawyer, you will probably become wealthy as well. No guarantee. But I know this. We have many students who come from other countries to study in Canada. Many of them want to become a doctor or a lawyer. Those are the two biggest goals that I have noticed. Maybe you want to become a photographer. Maybe you love taking pictures. You're really good at taking pictures. Maybe you wanna work for the magazine called National Geographic. One of the most famous magazines in the world that has lots of beautiful pictures in it. So, maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to use your photography skills to take beautiful photos so that people can see them when they read magazines or maybe you even put them online. Um but maybe you your dream job is to become a photographer. Uh where does a photographer work? Everywhere. Photographers go where the action is. Photographers go where they know they can take beautiful photos um and then they'll probably have a really nice camera and a tripod to put it on so they can take those photos. Maybe your goal is to become a pilot. I kind of mentioned this earlier. A pilot is someone who flies a plane or a helicopter. Maybe you want to join the air force in your country and become a jet fighter pilot or maybe you want to fly helicopters. Uh, in the air force and then after you're done serving in the military, you might want to work for a commercial airline and fly for Air France or Air Canada or something like that. But maybe your dream job is to be a pilot. Where does a pilot work? A pilot sits on the flight deck or in the cockpit and flies the airplane or flies the helicopter. Maybe you wanna be a CEO. A CEO is a chief executive officer. This is someone who is in charge of an entire company. So, maybe you want to be the CEO of Facebook or you wanna be the CEO of the Ford Motor Company. Maybe you want to be the CEO of BMW. This would mean that you are the boss. You are the boss of all the bosses. You are at the top. Um I have no desire to have that much authority or power. Um with um jobs like this, I think there's also a lot of stress because you have to make sure that the company makes money. But maybe you wanna be a CEO. A CEO works in the boardroom or in their office. So, your their office is where they have a desk and a phone. The boardroom is where they meet with other people. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to think of things or invent things or maybe you just want to start your own business. So, we use the French word entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who thinks I could buy some dirt and some seeds and some pots and then I could grow 
plants and then I could sell them in the parking lot of my aunt's store. So, that would be someone who is having um entrepreneurial thoughts. So, an entrepreneur is someone who finds a way to make money without working for someone else. Maybe you want to be a business owner. This picture made me laugh because I feel like uh, this lady is a business owner and she's in her office and she's looking out wondering where everyone is because it's probably a holiday. So, when you own a business, you probably uh don't work or sorry, when you are a business owner, you probably work on holidays. So, I felt like she was looking to see where all of her workers were and then remembering that it's actually a holiday. But a business owner uh would be someone who runs a business. A little different than an entrepreneur. A business owner, an entrepreneur is a business owner but a business owner is not necessarily an entrepreneur. Remember, an entrepreneur starts a business. A business owner might simply buy an existing business from someone and run that business. Maybe you're self-employed. We had this mentioned in the chat earlier. When you are self-employed, you work for yourself. So, Jen, for instance, is self-employed. She has a flower farm. She grows and sells bouquets of flowers. She is self-employed. A self-employed person would work in the same place or sorry, a self-employed person, their place of work would be unique to what they do. So, if they are an architect or a lawyer or um a flower farmer, their place of work would be slightly different. Maybe you want to be a video game designer. Many of my students want to be video game testers. <laughs> Their dream job is to work for a company where they play video games and get paid for it. Um I I know those jobs exist but I think they're few and far between. But if you want to become a computer programmer and you want to create video games, we would call you a video game designer. Uh you would work in an office with other people. You would primarily sit at your desk at your computer writing computer code and making video games. So, maybe your dream job is to be a video game designer. Who knows? I like writing computer programs but it's never been my goal in life to be a video game designer. It's more of a hobby um than something I would want to do for work. Um oh, I do have a (laughs) video game tester. Yes, many of my students dream of becoming video game testers and again, this job does exist. It's probably not as fun as you think. I don't think it would be fun to play a game for eight hours a day every day but I guess you're getting paid for it. Who knows? Maybe you have a beautiful voice and you tried podcasting and it didn't work out but you have a beautiful voice or maybe you can make different voices. Maybe you're really good at voice acting. You might wanna become a voice actor or a voiceover artist. So, a voiceover artist comes in and they read a script into a microphone. They would go to a studio and they would have their voice recorded for television commercials, for radio commercials, for um uh, cartoons. Maybe you can do like I can't do funny voices but maybe you can do all different funny voices and your dream job is to be a voiceover artist or a voice actor. So, two terms there. I forgot to put the one on the on the slide. Maybe you wanna be a race car driver. A very dangerous job but maybe you wanna drive in F1, Formula One. Maybe you want to drive in at your local racetrack. You want to drive a race car um and maybe you want to drive laps around the track really fast and pull into the pits and have your tires changed by your pit crew. Maybe driving a race car is the future. This is not Formula One by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um in North America, we also have uh NASCAR as well. A very popular uh type of racing. Um and then I think there's IndyCar. I watch NASCAR but I haven't watched IndyCar or Formula One very much. Maybe you wanna be a mascot. A mascot is someone who dresses up for a sports team and helps entertain the crowd at a stadium or arena. This is Ace from the team, the Toronto Blue Jays. So, they are a baseball team in Toronto. Remember, I said we share, um we have teams that play in leagues in North America. Baseball is one of those leagues. So, the Toronto Blue Jays play against all of the American teams which is kind of cool and teams have a mascot. Um this is Ace as I mentioned. Maybe your dream is to dress up 
as a bird or some other, uh, whatever represents the team and run around and do dances and entertain the crowd. Do they have mascots for football teams uh, in Europe? I don't know. I think they probably do. Aren't mascots universal? I don't know. Let me know in the chat. Maybe you wanna be a movie director. Maybe you want to go to the set of a movie and you want to sit in the director's chair and you want to tell the actors what to do and you want to be the person in charge of making a film or a TV show. Then you would be a director. Um, so, TV shows have directors as well but generally when we say director, I'm usually thinking of a movie director and maybe your goal is to make movies as a movie director. Very cool goal. Very cool dream job. Um, where do you work? Well, mostly you're on set and sets can be anywhere. If you're making a movie outside, you might be living in a trailer with everyone else while you are on set um, while you are filming and making the movie. Um, maybe you wanna be a Google, Facebook or Instagram employee. Some people, their dream job is simply to work for big tech. Big tech is the term we use for the really, really large companies in the world. Google, Facebook. I know Facebook owns Instagram now but uh, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, Google, um, YouTube is part of Google but some people, their dream job is to work for one of the big tech companies. That might be your goal in life. Um, because I hear it's really fun to work there. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'll never know. <laughs> maybe your goal is to be a vet or a veterinarian. A vet takes care of animals. A vet would work at a veterinary, a veterinary clinic uh, and they would have people bring their pets into them and they would see if there's anything wrong with them. So, it's like being a doctor except for animals. We almost always use the short form vet we don't often say veterinarian. Um so, we take our dog Oscar to the vet clinic once a year. They do some tests and they see if there's anything wrong with him. Um maybe you love animals and your dream job is to be a vet. My dream job was never to be a vet. I like animals but it just doesn't interest me really. Um yeah. I'm just trying to think of some, I don't actually know anyone. I think I have a student, a former student that's becoming a vet. That's the only person I know but anyways. Teacher, maybe your dream, dream job is to be a teacher. Maybe you just like teaching things. There's two things that are required. Maybe three things that are required um to be a good teacher I think. One is you have to like teaching, okay? So, some people think just knowing a lot is it one thing you need. You need to know a lot but you need to like teaching about that thing. The second thing is you have to actually like students. You have to like people who ask a lot of questions and who are trying to learn stuff. Believe it or not, some people go through teacher's college or they go to university to become a teacher and then in the end, they realize they don't actually like kids or teenagers. They, they're kind of, they find them kind of annoying. That's not a good sign. Um, the third thing you need to be a good teacher is you have to be curious and you have to always be learning new things. This probably wasn't as important 20 or 30 years ago but nowadays, it's very important. But maybe your dream job is to work in a classroom at a school and to teach people about things that they don't know about. Maybe you want to teach French or English. Maybe you want to teach geography or science. Maybe you want to be a scientist. A big shout out and thank you to all the scientists in the world as well right now especially those that worked on trying to uh, get rid of COVID, studying this disease, creating vaccines and treatments. Thank you to all the scientists but a scientist would work in a lab. A scientist would do research. A scientist would do experiments to try to, to discover new things in various fields. Maybe your goal is to become a scientist. <laughs> Maybe your goal is to become a professional wrestler. This is Dwayne The Rock Johnson back in the days when he was a pro wrestler. In North America, there is professional wrestling. I know this is somewhat popular in other countries um but Maybe your goal is to be in the ring. Maybe your goal is to wrestle against other people. Maybe your goal is to have a wrestling match every weekend 
and try to win the um the world champion belt or trophy. Um I never wanted to be a professional wrestler but uh certainly I think I would go see a pro wrestling match someday just for fun just to see what it's like. I used to watch it on TV a little bit um but maybe maybe you want to be a professional wrestler. Uh maybe you want to be a sports announcer or commentator. Um so these are pretty much the same roles. These are the people you hear talking when you watch sports on television. There's usually a commentator or an announcer or maybe there's someone who's doing a play-by-play. Play-by-play is when they say, okay, Gagnon has the puck. He's skating up the ice. He passes it over to Lemieux. Lemieux has the puck. He moves to the left. He moves to the right. He shoots. He scores. That would be someone doing a play-by-play of a hockey game. Maybe you want to be a DJ. A DJ also referred to as a disc jockey is it's kind of in English, there's two definitions of DJ. A DJ is someone who plays music at a party or at a bar or at a nightclub or at a big festival. You might have someone up on the stage who's playing music, okay? They might be mixing music. They might be um finding good songs for people to dance to and that is a disc jockey. But someone who plays music on a radio station can also be called a DJ. You could say, oh, he's a DJ at Q107. That's the name of one of our local radio stations. So, DJ kind of has two terms. We also call someone who works at a radio station a radio host. So, DJ is someone who plays music. A radio host is maybe someone who talks a little bit more but this can also be someone who plays music at a radio station. Maybe your dream job is to be a politician. This is Emmanuel Macron. He is the current president of France. Maybe your dream is to be the mayor of your local town and work at the um uh, city hall. Sorry, I just forgot the word. Maybe your dream is to become president or to become a member of parliament in your country depending on how your system of government works but maybe your goal in life is to become a politician. Someone who is maybe elected by the people if you're in a democracy or someone who is a government representative. Uh your goal is to just be someone who works on behalf of the people to run the country well. Maybe you want to be a world leader. This is Justin Trudeau currently the prime minister of Canada. Maybe you your goal maybe you live in the United States and you want to become like Joe Biden the current uh president. Maybe your goal is to become a world leader. A world leader would work um well uh Justin Trudeau works in the parliament buildings. I'm sure he has an office there and he has a special residence called Rideau Hall. I think I got that right. I should double check my facts before I do these lessons. It's not important for you to know where the prime minister lives. Anyways, if you ever visit Ottawa, you might have a chance to see Prime Minister Trudeau who is one of uh, the world leaders in the world today. The world leader of Canada. Maybe you wanna be an ambassador. This is Isabelle Udon who is the Canadian ambassador to France. An ambassador is someone who represents a country. So, she is the ambassador of Canada to France. So, she is Canadian and she would work at the Canadian embassy in France. Countries usually have embassies in other countries. It's a building that represents that country in that other country. So, maybe your goal is to become an ambassador, work at an embassy, go to lots of meet and greets which are uh kind of like parties where um officials like Isabel would go just to kind of talk to people from other countries. Maybe that's your goal to be an ambassador. Maybe this should be my goal. Maybe this is what I should do when I retire. I should become a Canadian ambassador. I should start writing letters asking about how to become an ambassador. I could if I become an ambassador to your country someday, we will have a party at the embassy for former students of Bob the Canadian. We'll do that. Maybe you wanna become a dancer. Maybe you just love to move and you love being on stage. Maybe you wanna become a ballet dancer. Maybe a hip hop dancer. Maybe you just love putting on shows for for people where you perform by doing different types of dance. Dancers usually practice at a dance studio and they would perform on a stage but maybe you just 
you don't like singing so much. You don't like doing card tricks but you love to move and you love to dance. Maybe you are a dancer and your dream job is to be paid to dance someday. That would be pretty cool. I'm not a great dancer but if I was that'd be a cool job I think. Maybe you wanna be a test pilot and you want to test out new airplanes. I have no desire to do this but maybe your goal in life is to be a test pilot um when a company makes a brand new airplane. Your job would be to climb into the cockpit and to test the new plane before they start making more of them for other people. Maybe you want to be a test driver. Maybe you uh work for a car company and when they make a new car, you test the car on the track. So, they probably have a test track where the test driver can test drive the new prototypes. A prototype is like a new version of a car. Maybe your goal, maybe your dream job in life is to be a test driver for Nissan or for Audi or for BMW or Tesla. Maybe you would love to work for one of those companies and test out their cars. Maybe you wanna be a movie critic. Um when I was younger, there was a show called At The Movies uh and it had Siskel and Ebert and they would watch a movie and then they would give it two thumbs up or one thumb up, one down or two thumbs down. Um maybe you want to watch movies and either talk about them on a television show or a YouTube channel or you want to write uh for the uh entertainment section of a newspaper. So, movie critics can either be on TV or they can be people who write articles. They would work, I guess they would go and watch the movie. They would see a preview of the movie before other people got to see it. And then they would go back to their office and sit at their computer and write an article or they would go back uh, to the studio and record a new episode for a TV show where they critique the movies. Maybe you wanna be an animator. When I first started teaching, it's around the same time that Toy Story came out, the very first Toy Story. So, in my computer class where we learned a little bit of animation, we would watch Toy Story. But maybe you love to draw. Maybe you love to use computers to draw in a way where you can animate things to make movies like Frozen or Frozen 2. Maybe your dream is to work for Pixar or Disney and to be an animator that helps make TV shows. Sorry, I'm a little off track because the phone rang. Let's let me get settled down again. Maybe you love animals and you would love to work at a zoo. Someone who works at a zoo is a zookeeper. This zookeeper is in the turtle pen or the turtle cage or the turtle enclosure. There's a lot of different names and they are trying to find out what's wrong with the turtle. So, maybe your dream job is to work with animals but maybe you don't wanna be a vet. Maybe becoming a veterinarian seems very challenging and difficult but maybe you can work at a zoo and be a zookeeper. And then here's my last slide. Maybe you want to be a farmer. Maybe your dream job is to be a farmer and to be outside in the rain or in the the sun, in the heat, in the cold and to grow things either to raise animals or to grow crops. Notice we use two different verbs there. Maybe you would love to be a sheep farmer and raise sheep. Maybe you would love to be a flower farmer and grow flowers. May, you might know this farmer if you're familiar with my channel. Um but maybe your dream job is to be a farmer. 